If you've been on our Facebook page for the last week or so, then you might have seen the story of a little boy called Ben who had a favourite thing in the world and it was stolen from him. Isn't that right, Ben? Yeah. So what was it? What was stolen? My bike. Your bike was stolen. And uh, tell, tell me, so how often did you used to ride it? Um, pretty much nearly every day. Nearly every day. And you loved it, didn't you? Yeah. And what colour was it? E- bright yellow. Bright yellow. So you'd, you'd spot it, wouldn't you? Yeah. And then what happened? So I nicked it. From the garage? Yeah. When was that? Wednesday night. Wednesday night. So your little bike that you absolutely loved, someone stole it. Correct. And how did you feel? Speechless. See, now, from what I know about you, because you ring into this radio show a lot, you being speechless is rare. Let's be honest. <laughs> so in some ways, it might be relief for your parents. Oh, the bike's gone, that's bad, that's going to cost a few hundred quid, but the child is quiet. <laughs> See, they're laughing. <laughs> they know what I mean. So what are you going to do now? Now you haven't got a bike. What do you do with your time? Well, I've got some good news. Yeah? Somebody has been very kind and given me a bike for absolutely free. Is that real? Yep. How we need to talk to Mummy. Hello. Hello. What's going on here? (laughs) We had a phone call from a friend that used to go to my school. Um, He said he had a bike in his back garden that he was no longer needing. Would Ben like to use it? That's really nice, isn't it? Yeah. So you've got a bike now. Yeah. But that still doesn't mean it's okay that someone stole yours. We're going to talk to your mummy for a little bit, okay? Yeah. Okay. Sarah. Hello. So talk me through that morning. Well, Steve went down to the garage because um, he gets up first in the morning. It's brilliant. Um, open and notices the garage is half open. The door's half open. Goes in and the bikes have been stolen and the freezer door's been left open. And... Obviously, we came in to tell Ben he cried, was very upset. Um, and then he got really scared and really jumpy. And Because someone's been, eff- essentially been, been in, in your house. house. And the garage is literally underneath our bedroom. So we don't know how we didn't hear it, because normally when you can go in the garage, you do hear it straight away. And it rattles through the bedroom because we're literally over the top of it. And we didn't hear a thing. And the stuff in the, ga- in the freezer wasn't that defrosted so it can't have been that long before we got up at like eight nine o'clock i think it was that day um and they took the bikes and of course with the with the kids being on holiday this week as well you would have been up a little bit later than maybe normal just just talk me through how much this bike meant to ben it's his world he just he lives and dies on it he goes to school on it he comes home he chills out on it when he's getting angry and upset. He'll go around the village. Everybody in the village knows Ben on his bike. And they know us, they know him. And it's just not right that he's not got his bike. And it's part of him. I spoke to him on Wednesday night because Steve was out with Kian at the football. And I said, how do you feel about it, Ben? He said, I had a piece inside me, Mummy, that was my bike. And now it's gone and it's empty and I feel really sad but they didn't take my helmet and I was like okay if that's how you that's how he was thinking about it he's not got angry but he's got very withdrawn and very upset and very every time there's a noise in the house or whatever he didn't want Steve to be out he wanted Steve to come home he didn't want me to go to sleep until Steve was home and make sure everything was locked we had to have everything locked that night he wouldn't go out and get his tea we had to go and get tea delivered in for him and he still didn't eat it because he was just too upset and it's not like him and it was awful no that that does that does sound horrific actually in the village you mentioned you live in Barrowby don't you yeah um which is the village I grew up in you and I've said that I know I grew up in Barrowby and it's such a close-knit community it is and it's so weird that no one's seen anything no um, we've spoken to a couple of people around the village um, and apparently something, there was a few other places that were done during the night. Um, somebody else had noticed a garage door around the corner from them was open first thing in the morning as well. And so I think they had a rather busy night in Barrowby, shall we say. 
So if you think you may have any idea of what went on in Barrowby that night, uh, you need to tell the police. And you know what? If you're wrong, you're not going to get in trouble. They're not going to say, oh, you've wasted our time. They're just going to say, okay, it wasn't them, but thank you. Um, But if you're right, I mean, the, the bike will be irreplaceable now, maybe. But you might just bring these horrible people to justice. And it's such a horrible thing that they've done. Um, and Ben, your new bike, have you had a chance to ride it yet? Yes, ride it, rode it, um, not today, I think it was yesterday I rode it. Yeah, Do you like yesterday. it? Yeah. Yeah, you like it, okay. It's more than the one he had before, but it, it gets him around a minute. It does the job. It does the job. Yeah, now, Ben. Sort him out. <laughs> ben, what you need to know, uh, which I don't think you'll have realised yet, I know you're very young. How old are you? 11. And so you're very young, but what you need to know is how much Grantham cares about you. And you know, we put this on our Facebook page, and do you know how many people saw what we've put on our Facebook page about you? Hundreds? Just under 6,000. Oh. That's and more people in the Barbie school. A lot more people, a lot more people in the Barbie school. So just under 6,000 people saw that, okay? And we haven't even counted the amount of emails we got to our office at this radio station saying, what can we do for this little boy? Um, you've seen people comment on the Facebook post already. We have people calling the studio just saying, oh, I've seen this on Facebook. What can I do? And someone's already come forward with a bike. So do, you don't need to feel unsafe. You are a hero in Grantham. You're a celebrity. There are people who have never met you who know the name Ben and know that Ben's that little boy who lost his bike. And all of Grantham cares about you. And all of Grantham got behind you. And you need to know that. So you, you shouldn't feel unsafe. And Dad even put it on Facebook and about when my mum told me 99 people had responded to it. 99 people. It's hundreds now. It's hundreds. Whoa. So well done you. You've been brave in all of this and I know you were very upset but you've been very brave and it's nice that you've got another bike but it would be nice to get your bike back or maybe an even nicer one, wouldn't it? It's got a bike lock on it and it's rather muddy because yeah. I do go... <laughs> off road in the park after school with my bud- buddies like came in that but it's got a yellow bike lock but um and um where the key goes that's got a little bit that's got, got covered mud. in mud has it okay well never mind um if you're listening and you know where this bike could be uh or even just who could have done it that's all so we want to know 101, that's the non-emergency police number, don't 999 it, but 101, explain the situation to the operator. If you're wrong, you're not going to get in trouble for that, but if you're right, this this little boy could get his bike back, or at least there could be some finality of knowing. Ben, thank you for coming in. Sarah and Steve, thank you very much for, for bringing him in. And I know your little brother's here as well. Do you want to come and say hello? Come on, into this, into this mic when Ben's been on. Hello, what's your name? Kian. Kian, how old are you? Going to be nine tomorrow. Going to be nine tomorrow. And today, what have you been doing to celebrate your birthday? Um, went on a forest tour around the stadium and I saw Carl Darlow. Yeah, Nottingham Forest, the football club. Yeah. And he's your favourite player, isn't he? Yeah. And didn't you write him a letter? Um, we're going to print it off when we get home, I think, then send it to him. That's really nice. Well, have a good birthday tomorrow. Thank you. Ben, good luck with your bike. Thank you, Ross. And thank you very much to your parents for bringing you in and us having this chat. I hope you get it back soon. And make sure you tell us, because we really care, OK? OK. Visit our website, gravityfm.net. Local radio for local people. On Gravity FM.